Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and this is the card that we're going to make today, the one that I have been promising you, but I did want to go ahead and let you guys know, a lot of you guys have checked in on me, sent me messages and emails and different things asking how I was. I am a lot better today, a lot better. They did find out the problem. The problem was... Um, and I'm going to tell you this in case some of you out there use this. I was using Revital Lift, L'Oreal Revital Lift face cream. And I had been using it for about a month and not had any problems at all. But I had not been in the sun, in the pool, and used it at the same time. Evidently, those three things do not mix. So I had put it on that morning, and then I went out to the pool. We played around the pool on the 4th. And then that night I came in, took my shower, and then I put it on again that night. And the next morning I was swollen, broke out, burned. I mean, my I had uh, second and third degree burns on my cheeks and my chin and my eyelids. So um, don't mix those three things. If you do use that, don't mix. <laughs> I have read up on it a little bit since then, and it does have a formula in it that is not good for uh, getting out in the sun with, but... They didn't have that warning inside the box for some reason or other. It was I had to look it up online and see other comments where other people had talked about it uh, doing the same thing to them. But anyway, I'm on some uh, good medicine. It is just a cortisone cream and some burn cream and aloe vera and vitamin E and coconut oil and different things that so that I'm getting a lot better. But I wanted to go ahead and do this card for you today. We are using the um, Arteza Real Brush Markers. We're using them to color with and then we're using our fine liners that they sent us as well to do some highlighting on our flowers. So we will go ahead and get into the card. And you let me know in the comments below what you think about the coloring this way. I have I've only just begun this type of water coloring. I have colored with uh, alcohol inks for quite a few years, but I've just started on water water coloring, and I'm I'm still I still don't like that real loose watercolor where it just kind of spreads everywhere. I like it contained, and I like it um, you know like that like it a little bit contained but you know I'll get there eventually but let's get into the card and like I said thank you so much for checking on me I really appreciate it thank you for the prayers and all the sweet comments that you left alright you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is 11 and a half by 5 and a half and on the long side you're going to score at 1 quarter 3 and 3 quarters 7 and 1 quarter and then you're going to turn it so that that one quarter inch uh, score line is up at the top. And then you're going to score at five eighths of an inch. So score at five eighths and score just down to the last score line. So that one right there. We'll hold it up so you can see it. So we put that one quarter inch up at the top, and then we scored it five inch down to that score line right there. That's the last score line, okay? So that's the scoring that you need to do. Now we're gonna trim off this part right here. So you're just gonna cut in and then trim off this part that we scored on that 5 8 So just trim that. You can put it back in your trimmer if you want to. I'm just going to use my scissors. Trim that off. So you should have something that looks like this. Then you're going to go ahead and accordion fold it. And get my bone folder. So you're going to fold it that way. You're going to fold it back that way. And then this little piece gets folded back. Okay, then you're going to need another piece. And this one is cut at two and three quarters by four and one quarter. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this right down here, attaching it to that little one quarter inch score line. So we're going to attach that right there. 
we really want to attach it on this side so that it'll fold. So we're going to get our art glitter glue and you're going to attach it where the bottom stays flush and right up close to that score line just like that. So we just attached it flush there so that it'll fold and make another panel. Alright, so that's going to fold like that. And there's going to be your three-tier card. Now we're going to go ahead, this little piece right here, we're going to go ahead and cut that away. So we don't need that showing. So cut that away like that. And that's what you have right there. So when you fold that up, when you do, do the accordion fold, you've got one layer, two layers, and three layers. And you can decorate on both sides of them. Isn't that pretty? This is not my original idea. I saw this on Pinterest. It didn't have any instructions with it, but I just kind of sit down and drew up my own plan. So if you're the one who originated this, thank you so much. So we are about to to put our mats down on this card and I've got two of my mats colored stamped and colored already but I'm gonna do the third one with you but this is the way our mats and stamping will look and then that's the back one and then this will be here so just a small portion of the stamping will show on each one and that's what we want just a small little portion on there. Then of course the front one, all of it will show. So let's go ahead and stamp this piece and I'll tell you what size the mats are and all that kind of stuff as soon as we get this one stamped. Now I'm going to stamp this one where it kind of falls off maybe to the side like that. I've got it in my Tim Holtz stamp platform and I do have just a piece of repositionable tape behind it because I didn't want to use my magnets. And then we're going to use some Memento ink since we're going to be coloring it. For some reason, that right there is just not wanting to stamp. There we go. We got it. That's why I like using my Tim Holtz stamp platform because you can use it and then stamp it again. If it doesn't stamp right, stamp it again. Stamp it as many times as you need to. And then clean up is super easy. All right, so we're going to put this away. We're going to let this dry a little bit before we start coloring on it. Because you want to let your ink dry really well so that it won't bleed. So we're going to let that dry. And then we will start coloring this one. While that one is drying, I'll go ahead and show you the other two that we did. This one is the back one. And that's the yellow yellow and orange kind of roses and this is all done with our Arteza uh, real brush markers that I have shown in another video and then I went back and used my fine liners on that and I will show you all of that on this one when we do that and there's the purple one Alright, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to let that dry a little bit. We're going to go ahead and put some of these mats down. Now, the, the back mat, I am double matting them. So this back one is, that's four by five and a quarter. That's going to be the, the back one. So just center that mat up, press it down, and then this one, the top one that I stamped on, is three and three quarters by five. So we're going to put that one right down on there. And I see my ink. I had a little ink on my finger right there so I'm going to use my mono eraser and get that off so that it doesn't show. Okay and then we're going to put a mat here on this and then one on the front. So this one is cut 
and you'll need two of these. This is cut at three and a quarter by four and three quarters and all of these measurements will be on my blog and the direct link to my blog will be right below the video and it'll just say blog post. You can go over there and copy down all the measurements, that kind of thing. Now you could put another white piece here and you could write on it, put notes on it, whatever. I may do that later. I'm not going to do it right this minute. This is the same size. We're going to put it on the front side. And then this one is cut at three inches by four and a half. And on this, I just put, I used that same um, stamp set that I've used quite a few times. It's called Roses in Bloom and it's by FB Stamps and I will put a link to them below. So I used that and then I used If Friends Were Flowers, I'd Pick You on that. And then on this one, I just put Happy Birthday. You can see where I played on the back with my colors. I like to do swatches to see what's going to match up. But it doesn't bleed through this cardstock, so that's good. This is the Nina white cardstock that we carry. It's not, this is not watercolor paper. This is just that Nina white, and it colors very well. I really need to clean my hands off, I think. Okay, so that one is there, and then we need to put our front one on, but let's put this mat on the inside first. And see, so you could also put something there if you wanted to. You could stamp it again. Now, you could put your image that you stamp on out to the edge so that it would show, but I wanted just a peak of mine so that it would be a little bit more interesting, make them want to open it up. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one down. And I will tell you the size of these. You'll need two of these as well. I think I told you the size, but I'm going to tell you again. These are two and a half by four. So that's the front one. So you can see the, the way the card is going to be. Just like that. There's your images. And then we're going to go ahead and color this one. Now I'm probably going to speed it up right here and color this because it takes me a little bit of time to color because I'm not that great. Um, I am just learning but I'm loving these watercolor uh, brush markers. They are fantastic to color with. And I always like to check and see which one is my darkest. I'm going to start with my... Okay, so this one's my dark. And I am not fantastic at the shading thing and all that, but I'll show you just a little trick that I use that helps me more than anything. And I just take my darkest color. And all of those artists out there are going to cringe when they see what I do. They're going to go, oh my gosh, that lady is messing up. But it makes it look good to me, and that's all that matters, I guess, if it looks good to you. Okay, I go with my darkest around the edges of where it's stamped. I do that first. And then I come back and I kind of fill in just a little bit, not much, with my dark one. And I don't let it sit too long before I go in with the next one and pull it out. Because if you let it sit very long, it will dry to the point to where it doesn't blend well. Especially on paper like this that is not really a blendable cardstock. So you just kind of let it, you know, put it on there a little bit and then go in with your next color and blend it out. And I use just short little strokes like that and where I think that it would be darker then I, I kind of concentrate on that part but these pens are just so easy to work with that I have other watercolor pens but these are so easy that it's made me want to color more 
it's made me want to practice. And now you can go back and put another layer on, and I usually do that. I think I actually colored a leaf right there, but we're not going to tell anybody. Nobody will know the difference, will they? So you go back and put another layer on, and you just kind of keep layering until it gets to the point that you like it. Because if you like it, I'm sure your recipient's going to like it as well. If you think it's pretty, I'm sure they're going to love it. So just do that kind of thing. And then I go on to the next one and just kind of do the same things over there. So we will speed this up and I'll come back when I get this one colored and we'll go from there. So now I take my fine line, all these fine liners that I got, and I pick one that is similar to the darkest color that I put down on there. And I take the fine liner and I go over those lines, those stamped lines that we had. And I kind of go right on the inside of them. I don't I don't go on the outside. I go right on the inside of those lines. And it to me it just kind of pulls everything together. Makes it look a little neater, I don't know. It just it's just what I like. See, I like that deep color right up where the where the lines of the stamp is. I like that. So just take the fine liner and go around all of those stamped lines there and it'll it'll make it pop better and to me like I said I like it I know all of those artists out there are cringing they don't like this but I like it now if you want to you can take that lightest color again and just go back over all of that to blend it out more. So, to me, I like the look of it. Tell me what you think in the comments below. So, that is it. That's the color for our flowers. And then I'm just going to color our leaves and our stems. And then we will be finished with this and we can put our card together. Right, so that is our flower color. And we will put this all together now. There we go. Isn't that a cute card? Like I said, you can put something on here, but I think it's adorable. I love it. Um, like I said, this does fit in a standard size envelope. Okay, and then on this one, this piece right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that up. I'm just going to glue that together so that it will just flip like this. So there you go. You've got your three-tier card. Fits in a standard envelope. It ends up being four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's a standard size card. You could put another stamp up here if you wanted. Do all different kinds of decorating on this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. We've got our 20,000 subscriber giveaway coming up very soon. That will be for a $100 gift certificate to our store, our online store. You have to be subscribed in order to enter at all. So make sure that you're subscribed if you're not. And then leave me a comment below letting me know what you think about this coloring. Using the Arteza Real Brush Markers and then the Fine Liners. Let, let me know what you think in the comments below.
I will leave links to all of these products below as well as over on my blog. I'll leave the measurements for the card and everything over on my blog as well. So we will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.